Hello and welcome to Park Bench. On today's onboarding session, we'll walk through the front public facing side of the Park Bench site. And I'll also show you how to access your administrative side so you can make any changes and access coaching and resources. So we'll go ahead and get started here. As you can see, I'm at parkbench.com. And in the top right hand corner, this is where you'll click on member login to access your login page. In the email section here, you'll want to enter in the email address that we have on file for you. This will need to be all lowercase as it is case sensitive, and the password will simply be that same email address. Please resist the temptation to click on Google or Facebook to sign in as this won't bring you into the site as a sponsor and we want you to be able to have full access to your site. So once you have your email addresses added in here on lower case, you'll click on sign in. And this is going to bring us to your control panel. So the control panel is where you can access our coaching and resources and make any changes to your site. We'll scroll right down to the bottom of the page so I can show you right out the gate how to get support as questions arise. You'll notice right here we have a few different options for you. Starting with our toll-free phone number here, this is available for you Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern. When we're in the office, you can give us a call and speak directly with a member of our support team here. We also have this email available for you for any tech support related questions or changes to your site. You can email us here. And this little blue button in the bottom right hand corner of the page will follow us across all the pages of your site you'll see today. And clicking on this will bring up the option to chat directly with a member of our team or search the Help Center, which I'll show you in more detail. So when you're on your site and you have any quick questions, feel free to just pop in here and reach out to our team. They'd be happy to help you. Now scrolling back up here, you'll see the next couple sections we have here is uh, number one, the local leader interview board. Now this is a great opportunity for you to check out other interviews that our local sponsors are doing. And then in the right here, you'll see the my neighborhood section. So this will be set up with the neighborhoods within your sponsored area specifically. I'm just gonna open these two up to show you a quick example here. So you can see that each of the neighborhoods will have their own individual URLs. So if I look here, I can see parkbench.com McDonough's and parkbench.com Avalon GA. Now the reason for those individual URLs are really for search engine optimization. So when it comes to posting content to your site, let's say your first interview, you can simply post to either one of these sites and content will share automatically across. When it comes to marketing your site as well, you can simply choose one of these URLs to market and share with your community if it's a larger area or your primary focus. Let's take a look through the site here so you can see some of the items that uh, will be featured on the front public facing side of the site. So here on Debbie's site, you'll notice that we have an image at the top here, which you're welcome to keep or change. Debbie's added in some multiple photos here for a clickable slideshow. And you can change those images by clicking on this camera icon here. You can add in those images and a great opportunity here to showcase beautiful landmarks or landscapes in your community. Now, as we scroll through Debbie's site here, you'll notice that we have interviews and blogs posted front and center now at the top of the page. As we scroll through, you'll see local deals, businesses open during COVID-19, and featured listings have also been added in, and I'll show you how to do that on today's call. And down below, you'll see upcoming events and the recent news as well. Now, when you're first logging into your site before you have interviews posted, it will appear as recent news and events are more of the primary focus. But as soon as you post your first interview or blog, they'll shift to the bottom of the page here as very much a secondary focus. Now you'll notice here on the right hand side, we have these lead capture links. So when anyone has a real estate question or wants to be interviewed, 
they can simply click on these links and the email will then be sent directly to you so you can follow up. You'll notice here there's an invitation to join the newsletter. We have another call to action right here at the top to subscribe to that newsletter. Now, the newsletter is a wonderful feature that we create for you. We send that out every Monday to your subscriber list, and that's going to highlight any recent interviews, blogs, local deals, and recent news and events. So great opportunities there. Now, we'll cover all of these tabs along the top here. You'll notice this blog tab here. Now, you won't have that right away on your site when you first sign up as a sponsor because you just simply don't have interviews or blogs yet posted. But as soon as you do, that will appear here. And what you'll notice when I click on this is that the top display will now change to a map of your sponsored area. Now on this map, you'll start to see some of the locations pinned for the organizations and businesses that you've interviewed. As a general rule for who you can interview, it's anyone within your sponsored area or anyone who would service your sponsored area. So for example, if there's a local general contractor that's outside of your sponsored area, but they would travel to service clients within, you'd be more than welcome to interview them and feature them on your site. And if community members travel to, let's say a favorite neighborhood restaurant, they can certainly be interviewed as well and featured on your site as relevant community information. Now, when it comes to those interviews themselves, we are noticing interviews being done both virtually via Zoom, as well as in person, slightly distanced or with masks on, which is super exciting. However, we do offer a tutorial in our health center that I'll show you in more detail today on how to get set up and start doing Zoom interviews like a pro. So we've got you covered there. Now, a couple of neat things happen when you post your interviews. So I'm gonna show you the templates today that you'll use to post your interviews. And as soon as you post your interviews, our Parkbench team will reach out to your interviewees and send them a couple of different emails. They'll receive an email with a link to the interview itself with a reminder to reshare on social media. And they'll also receive information on how they can log into their business's profile page, making changes, add events and deals. And I'll show you an example of what those pages can look like here in the directory tab. I'll also mention that your interviewee will have full access to our support team. So if they have any questions with that process, they can certainly reach out to us instead of you. We'd be more than happy to help them there. Let's cover the deals tab next here. So you'll notice on Debbie's site, she's got a couple of different deals. So we've got deals for new customers as well as Groupon deals here below. Now Groupon deals will automatically aggregate onto your site. So we'll search for deals in your area and add these in just as soon as they've been created and remove them just as soon as they've expired. When it comes to the deals for new customers and for review coupons, I'll show you today how you can add these in right into the interview templates themselves as a simple step if perhaps your interviewee knows what they'd like to offer as a deal at the time of posting the interview, as well as the interviewee will have access to their business profile page to add in those deals on their own after the interview has been posted. So let's cover that directory tab next here. You'll notice that we'll be building out a directory for you on your site, aggregating in local businesses, schools, and organizations, and setting up a map like this. I'm gonna open up two businesses here to show you an example of the differences you might see in some of the directory pages here. So in the first example here for Pasta Max Cafe, this is an example of a business that we refer to as an unclaimed business page. And essentially all this means is that the information here has been aggregated in using our technology. So we found their name, we found an image online and their address and phone number and created this business profile page as a resource in your community directory. So it's a very straightforward page here. Now in the second example, 
For Scoops McDonough, this is an example of what we refer to as a claimed business page. Now this business has been interviewed by Debbie. So they've gone in and taken full advantage of all of the different features that we offer to local businesses once they've been interviewed. So they've added in some great photos here. They have their hours of operation. Down below, you'll notice they also have a bio and the interview where they were featured is also highlighted on this page. And in addition to their address and phone number, we now have their website. Social media links can be added right here. And if they have a Facebook business page, their widget can be aggregated in right here for them. And down below, you'll see they're taking advantage of offering a coupon directly with Parkbench for new customers. They can also have review coupons. And if they did have any Groupon deals, we'd automatically aggregate those in right here for them. There's also a spot to write a review or leave a tip. So as you can see, there's really a ton of neat features businesses can take advantage of once you start interviewing. Now, some of this information will simply pull right through from the interview templates that I show you today. And some of this information, of course, the business can simply log right into their business profile page and add on their own after the fact. Now I'll mention if you come to your directory and you happen to notice there's a business you'd like to interview and you don't yet see them in your directory, you are welcome to add that business in simply by clicking here. But what we like to remind you that just using the interview templates we have provided for you, posting that interview, so go ahead and book it with them, post it, use those interview templates. And as soon as you post that interview, we're going to go ahead and create automatically this business profile page like we saw for Scoops McDonough and add them to your directory. So quick step there for you, we'll take care of that. Let's take a look at Debbie's real estate tab here. So she's got a drop down for featured listings and you'll have that too as soon as you have listings enabled on your site. We'll take a look at her real estate profile page here, just so you can get an example of what yours can look like. And I'll show you today how you can update all of this information. So Debbie's got a great photo. She's highlighting all of those social media links she likes to use. Down below, you'll notice here a bio. And she's got her self-interview added in here as well. You're going to learn how to do this in our fundamental sessions. So we've designed four fundamental sessions for you to really teach you the ABCs of the interview process. And in that, you'll learn how to create a self-interview where you can showcase yourself to your community and let them get to know you a little bit more. Down below here, we have awards and designations. She's highlighting some testimonials. And any recent interviews or blogs will be aggregated in here automatically for you. And she's highlighting some recent listings as well. Now on the right side, you may have noticed here, we have a Twitter feed added in for Debbie and her Facebook widget. So if you do have those sites, I'll show you in the administrative side, again, how you can update all of this information and add those features in as well. Now on the events tab here, you'll notice that we'll be aggregating in events for you. So really great opportunities here to showcase what's happening in your community. You do have the option to add an event in as well. Now this is gonna be a great feature for the members of your community that you're meeting, whether it's different organizations or businesses that run weekly or monthly events, they can also showcase their events here. If I open up one of these events, you'll see here that we are having this little disclaimer added on right now, just so people know an event could be changed or canceled due to COVID-19. Now on our newsfeed tab here, you'll notice on your sites that we'll be aggregating in content, searching for sources that post news in your sponsored area. Now this information will be updated really just as often as those sources post new content. However, if you come across something that you'd like to share with your communities, you're more than welcome to do that simply by pasting the URL of that particular article right here, clicking post, and that will be added in with the rest of your news. 
Now to the right here, this little pencil icon will simply pull up a quick link reference menu for you. And to the far right, this is where we'll access your control panel, so the administrative side in just a moment. And you'll see here you can access coupons. Settings is where you can change your password. So at the very beginning where we used your password as both the username and password, you can click here and change that information. And then messages is where you'll see a little notification. If anyone clicks on these lead capture links here, you'll be emailed directly as well as you'll see a notification right here. So let's start to work our way through the administrative side of the site. I'm going to click on the control panel. And again, this is where you'll first arrive when you log in. You'll see these bright colorful buttons along the top are just some quick links to access these tabs on the left, which we'll go through in detail today. We have this fun feature here for you where you can see the time and money saved from using Parkbench. So as more content is aggregated in for you, this will show you the money you've saved using Parkbench versus hiring an assistant to do the same thing. And here we have an interview tracker. So as you start to post interviews, you'll see this change to help keep you on track for your personal monthly goals. Now, as one of your next steps after this call, it will be to click here on this profile tab. You'll see here under personal, this is where you can add in all of your contact information. So name, brokerage name, contact info there. You can add your photo and logo. And now all of this information will then sit on your sidebar ad. You do have the option to upload a custom sidebar ad. And you can see Debbie's done that here. She's created a custom sidebar ad that takes the place of the park bench template. And that's essentially a clickable image. So you can create this by maybe using a site like canva.com. There is a mandatory size here for that as well. So just keep that in mind. Now under the about tab, if you remember on Debbie's site, she had her bio. So that was added in here, her self interview. Down below, you can add in those awards and designations and any testimonials. Now, if you need any help here formatting this information, adding stars or anything like that, please reach out to our support team and we'd be more than happy to help you there. As well as if you have that information on an existing website, you can simply copy and paste that over. Now under team, this is where you can add in any team members that you're working with, maybe even another assistant or an agent simply by clicking here and they can add their details in. Under media, this is where you can add all of those social media links that you like to use. So if you remember on Debbie's uh, real estate page, she had her Facebook widget and Twitter widget there simply by having the URLs added in here that will automatically pull through. So best practice after today is to try to get these four tabs filled out in the next day or two so everything is looking really sharp on your site and everyone will know that you are the sponsor. Now we'll overview the interview tab today. You'll see here when I click on this, it will open up the resource to our interview templates. So you'll find first all of the interview templates here and down below, we also have blog templates. So if you're interested in doing any list style blogs, this will be a great resource for you. And when you start to think about who to interview in your community, you have all kinds of different community members. We've created these interview templates with industry specific questions for you. So you can think about different organizations, principals, teachers, politicians, couples and families that you can interview. Of course, you'll likely be using the business owner interview template the most. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up just to overview the three simple steps to posting your interview. So in this template, you'll see here step one. This is where you'll add in all of your contact information for the interviewee. Down below here, you can add in an image or logo and any social media links that you know that they might use. At the bottom here, we'll highlight this section. This is where you can add in that coupon information we saw earlier. 
So if perhaps the business knows that they would like to offer 25% off for new customers, you can certainly add that right in here if they know at the time of the interview what they'd like to offer. And when you post the interview, we'll create that cute little coupon for you. As well, the business can simply log into their business profile page after you post the interview, and they can simply add that in on their own. So best step here, we like to say, is to just simply open up the business's uh, website or social site and go ahead and copy and paste all of this information over so it's a nice quick step for you. In step two, you'll find all of our question examples. So there's over 35 questions here that we've created for you to get started. Lots of great questions to help create those engaging conversations. And the goal in the interview process is to simply ask five questions. So you've got lots of great inspiring questions here to choose from. And of course you can come up with your own. Step three here, you'll notice this blog headline will simply auto-populate for you based on what was added into step one. And if you're doing the video interviews, you'll first post those interviews to YouTube, paste the URL to that video right here. You can add in another image and a summary of the interview and post that right away here or simply save the draft for later if you get busy and are pulled away. So very user-friendly templates, as you can see, and you're gonna learn the best practices for the interview process and the fundamental sessions we've designed for you, hosted by our coach, Jordan, and I'll share more about that with you here in our support tab. So let's cover the CRM tab here. Now this will tie into the directory we saw earlier, as well as the newsletter I mentioned. So you'll see here um, first, anyone who signed up for the newsletter, you'll see that check mark here and their email address is attached. Down below, you'll start to see all of the different businesses that we've aggregated in for you with their phone numbers set up and ready for you to reach out to book those interviews. So this is gonna be a great lead list for you. Of course, you're not restricted to only set up interviews with these particular businesses, but this is gonna be a great resource for you to get started. Now you'll also notice in the CRM tab, any information when someone clicks on those lead capture links we saw earlier, their contact information will flow through. And if you add in a new business, their contact information will also be added here. Under the listings, there's a couple different ways to add listings to your site. So first we'll be here by clicking on add listings. And this is where you can add in your listings as we saw on Debbie's site, she was even highlighting some that she sold in the past. If you wanna give viewers an idea of the types of listings you normally work with. Down below, you can add in the images and descriptions as this doesn't pull directly from MLS. So you'll be adding this information in manually. So we like to suggest adding two or three listings this way. And in addition to this, what we offer is that you can simply have your brokerage website or your own personal website IDX listing result page added into your site. So if I click on the support tab, we'll see here that email again, support at parkbench.com. You can simply send them your listing result page for your brokerage or personal site to us, and we can look at embedding that in on your site. Now, most sites are embeddable if there's an IDX attached, some are not, but our team can certainly figure that out for you. It usually just takes a couple of days for them to set that up, and there's no additional fee for that. We'll highly recommend that as a way to have updated listings on your site. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team there. And again, you'll notice here with our support options, that little blue button followed us across all the pages of our site here. It pulls up a link to our help center, which I'll show you in a moment, as well as the option to chat live Monday to Friday, nine to five Eastern with our team. You can give us a call, email us, or hop into that live chat. I'll show you our help center next here. This is gonna be a great resource for you. Let's just click right here. You'll see this brings me to another site, help.parkbench.com. I'd highly recommend bookmarking this resource 
It's very user friendly. Simply coming here and typing in a keyword like Zoom will show you that resource I mentioned earlier, where there's a tutorial on how to get set up and start doing Zoom interviews like a pro. So really user-friendly resource here. The Help Center, of course, is going to um, should have all of our scripts, tips and tricks, um, lots of information here. Simply just come and type in your question here and you'll likely find the answer. So great resource for you when we're out of the office, of course, but even while we're in the office, definitely familiarize yourself here. Now, one of your next steps after this call is going to be to work through the four fundamental sessions that we've created for you to really be successful with the platform. You'll access those just here in the live coaching. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll review that now. You'll see it brings me right back to that helpful help center here and into the live coaching schedule. So let's just take a look here. So you'll notice we have five sessions a day five days a week. And that's here listed on Pacific time as well as Eastern time here on the left. So lots and lots of great options for learning here. But I'd like to just draw your attention today to the fundamental sessions, which run in two blocks here at noon Eastern and at 2 p.m. Eastern. This will be your primary focus after today's call. And as I scroll down, you'll find a little bit more information here. So the fundamental sessions have been broken down into four sessions, and these are designed for busy agents like yourself. So they're about 35 to 40 minutes each and really jam packed with a ton of information to have you confidently out there doing the interviews and knowing how to really execute the platform with success. So we've really broken it down here for you. We recommend that you attend them in this particular order. And I'll mention these sessions are hosted live on Zoom. So great opportunities here to just simply click on the Zoom link at the time the session is about to begin or a couple minutes before. You don't need to pre-register. So as I mentioned, you can just click here just before the session's about to begin and join in. Now in the first session, you'll discover the ABCs of the interview process. So booking, conducting, and posting those interviews confidently. In the second session, the self-interview will be showcased here. And you'll remember that was on Debbie's site. So great opportunity here to create a little bit of content to let your community get to know you a bit more. And you'll also learn how to create the welcome video, which can be added to your site as a little pop-up that will greet new viewers to your page. This will introduce you, introduce the site, and there'll also be a call to action to subscribe. So great feature to take advantage of there. And in the third session, getting businesses to post deals and clients from the process, this will dive deeper into the interview process where we'll ensure that you're having those real estate conversations. So lots of tips and tricks are covered here. The whole goal really and why we're all here is to help you build those referral generating relationships. So you won't want to miss this one. Lots of great information here and they'll also cover ways to encourage those businesses and organizations to post deals and coupons on the site. And lastly, in the fourth session here, advanced website functionality, this will dive deeper into the subscribers and analytics as well. So great opportunities for learning here. And again, if we look at that schedule, as you remember, sessions run through the week at noon Eastern and 2 p.m. So multiple offerings of each session here. So we recommend to try to complete this in the first week, week and a half to two weeks. Um, from today. So you're really up to speed with everything you need to know to be successful with the interview process. Now, if you get stuck here, we do have recordings. You can reach um, out to your coach and we can send those through to you. Once you're done the fundamentals, you're going to feel really confident about the interview process. We like to recommend maybe thinking about starting the interview process with someone you already know, whether it's a friend or family member, or maybe a business you already frequent. And once you do a couple of interviews, you might wanna think about refining some of the learning that you've gained. So we'd encourage you to hop into these GTB sessions, which run twice a day, 
five days a week, which stand for getting things done, or maybe check out our skills sessions. So if we scroll further down past the fundamental sessions here, you'll see we've got the GTD sessions here, which are action oriented and really designed to refine your learning in the interview process. You can click here to join that particular session. This is an individual Zoom link for the GTD session. And down below, you'll see as well our skills development sessions have their own Zoom link as well um, to join in. Now, the skills sessions will cover things like video editing, blogging, and SEOs. So really great opportunities here to add to your skill set or refine your learning. So going back to the schedule here, this will really be your best resource for learning everything you need to know to be successful with the platform. And again, your primary focus after this call, just being those four fundamental sessions to really be successful with the platform. And again, we work through all of these tabs. I'm here at the support tab and I found that live coaching link right here. Now, once you've gotten out there and started to do some interviews and you're working through the live coaching, if you're the type of person that wants to keep supplementing your learning and you'd just like to learn more about Parkbench, you're welcome to join into the local leader training program here. We have some recordings here for you. They were recorded a few years back, so the platform itself will look a little bit different, so just keep that in mind. But this is a great way to supplement your learning. And then we also have this link to our CEO's YouTube webinar channel. So Grant has done some really cool webinars showcasing information about Park Bench and how to be successful, of course, but he's also done some really cool webinars on real estate in general. So definitely worth checking out when you have a little bit of time. So the last thing I wanna draw your attention to here back at the dashboard is how to get connected with the Local Leader Facebook group. So let's just scroll right back down to where we saw those help options at the very beginning. And you'll see here to the left, there's our link to the Local Leader private Facebook group. Clicking here, you'll see it brings me right to Facebook and to this exclusive group. So there'll be a little link to join at the top here. And this is a private group. So it's available just to members like yourself. You'll see we post all kinds of different contests here. Local leaders will introduce themselves, share their interviews for feedback and inspiration. Great knowledge sharing is happening here, everyone. It's a wonderful place to network because everyone has exclusivity of their sponsored areas. There's just not that same competition you might normally see. So definitely take a moment to introduce yourself here and meet other local sponsors. So coming back to the dashboard, that's really everything I wanted to cover today. So let's recap those next steps for you. So you'll arrive here to your dashboard. From there, click on the profile tab and start working through these four tabs over the next day or so and try to get those completed. So everything's looking really sharp on your site and everyone will know that you're the sponsor. From there, you can click on the support tab and familiarize yourself with our help options here and our help center, and then start working through the live coaching, focusing on those four fundamental sessions to really teach you everything you need to know to be successful with the platform. From there, you'll really be ready to post your first interview. Now you'll have met our coach in the fundamental sessions. You'll have myself as a resource. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and you have our entire support team here. So don't hesitate as you move along to reach out. I'll be sending along a uh, action list for your next steps as well. So just reach out to your coach to have that action um, plan set up for you. So you'll know really clearly what you need to do to be successful with your Park Bench neighborhood community site. Thank you again for taking the time to watch the onboarding session today. We'd like to give you a warm welcome to the Park Bench family, and we look forward to seeing your first interview. Have a great day.